Just in time, it's 6.45. I'm Cynthia McLaughlin. And I'm Isaac Ramirez. Thank you for joining us. We are starting with breaking news overnight. The person accused of shooting two people near Ben Wheeler has been found. And that's according to the Van Zandt County Reporter. The shooting happened overnight on Van Zandt County Road 4710. KEGK's Olivia Sandusky is live there. Olivia, what can you tell us about the current situation right now? Yeah, good morning, Isaac. Right now, we don't know the identity of the shooter, and the sheriff tells me right now they're waiting on confirmation to let us know if they are dead or alive at this moment. But it was a crazy scene overnight right here on County Road 4710 in Van Zant. You can see the sheriff have blocked the roads off. Now, it all happened at this house, which is just at the top of the hill. There's a lot of activity going on still in that area right now as they continue to sort through the details. But that's where the shooting happened. There were actually two victims in the situation. They had one airlifted out of here, one taken to a local hospital. We aren't sure exactly how they're doing at this time. We're waiting for confirmation on that as well because this is still an ongoing investigation, very active at the moment. Now, the shooter, when this happened, they told us it was hard to get up this road to the victims because there were shots actually being fired at the officers. That's according to the Van Zant County reporter. So, a lot of activity out here in this area this morning. When we get more details on who the shooter is and maybe what led to this tragedy, Project scene out here. We'll keep you updated on our website, EastTexasMatters.com. Reporting live in Van Zandt, Olivia Sandusky, KETK News. Already